Hello, Roman. Yeah. So before we start with the main questions, can you tell me a bit about who, who you are and what do you do? Okay, uh, my name is Alman. Uh, I am a queer Cyprus activist for long years. So we started as Homophobia Against Initiative and then we turned our name into Queer Cyprus. Um, I am working as a project coordinator in the Diversity of Colors project and it's going to be a three years project actually. Okay, can you tell me more about the Diversity of Colors project? I read that it's uh, an EU funded project. Yes. So as an organization, we work as anti-discrimination uh, towards LGBTI people and in Diversity of Colors project, we aim to increase the capacity of the association. So we will have an activities um, like seminars, conferences, uh, consultancy services for LGBTI people. Um, it's going to be 36 months and it's funded by European Union under the Cypriot Civil Society in Action 6 um, and implemented by us. Okay, can you describe a bit the activities that you're going to be doing? I read that you're going to be offering capacity building and legal, social and uh, psychological services. Yeah, um, because it's homophobia and transphobia is uh, existing still in our communities. Um, we started with the Unspoken project, which was two years project funded by you again. And there we found out the capacity of the association was not enough to deal with this, uh, tackling with the homophobia and transphobia. So in this project, we, had ten, we have 10 uh, capacity building project um, trainings. Um, we will have internship programs for the ones who want to do their internship in our association. We will have international conferences. There will be two international conferences where we will have speakers from different countries. Um, focusing on the different side of the issue. Um, we will monitor media actually and there we will also have a suggesting, uh, suggestions for the media outlets uh, how to cover the LGBTI issues um, as well as we will have um, what else we will have let me think we will have consultancy services, which is, I think, one of the important things because as LGBTI community, when we are being discriminated or when our rights are violated, we need support, uh, like legal support or psychological support or even social support. So we have this solidarity line where people can call and they ask for help and we are directing them, them to the experts on these issues. Okay. How do you think that this help from the EU has made your efforts possible? How would your efforts be different if you didn't have this help from the EU? For sure, EU support is really important and crucial for us because starting from the beginning of our movement, when the homosexuality was criminalized in the northern part, um, we had lots of backlash. I mean, everybody was against to this law being changed. They were saying they will spread homosexuality everywhere. and. EU actually uh, interfering, I mean, sending letters and changing this is human rights helped us to change the law. But afterwards, because this stigmatization of the LGBTI people, people are not willing that much to donate to our association. So one of the only um, source of finance for us is EU. So that's really important that we have financial support from EU as well as, as, well as visibility, I mean. Okay. And what is the process to get that funding from the EU? Okay, so EU is basically opening this call um, for applying and getting your projects uh, being implemented. And this is specific call for Cypriot society in action. So we apply that and after the phase that the first phase we pass, we submit the final uh, submission. And then if you get accepted like us, we will implement 36 years project. Okay, and how long does that uh, application process take? Almost one year it took us from the application till now. And then we have these inter interim reports, we will have uh, quarterly like monitorings and everything. So it's uh, actually a huge pro project that we will have implementation, but also the monitoring and also like, you know, updating the mm -hmm. project. And then they will have audits and they will check if we succeeded to reach our targets. Okay. And do you work with ACCEPT or any other European human rights groups? Yeah, for sure. I mean, our approach to the issue is that it's, it, it is a global case. It's not specific to Cyprus. So all around the 
uh, the world, there is this discrimination based on race and based on ethnicity and um, sexual orientation, gender. So what we do is uh, we cooperate with ACCEPT, especially we have rainbow meetings each month uh, that is organized in the buffer zone. Mm -hmm so that both communities, all communities in the island can come together and talk about these issues. Also, we are part of the networks like Transgender Europe, uh, IGLIO, which is a youth mm -hmm. organization, as well as some other European uh, organizations. And yes, with ACCEPT, we mainly achieved lots of stuff and we support each other for the Pride each year. Okay. And I read that on March 4, you're hosting an exhibition to mark the, the start of this project and the 10 year anniversary of your association. Can you tell me a bit more about that? Yeah, I'm really excited about that. Actually, it's going to be really a huge thing for us because as an association, like we are almost more than 10 years, we are established and working. So there we will exhibit the whole demonstration banners and photos and press releases. And it's good to see where we were and now where we have uh, now where we are standing. I mean, at that time, like 10 years ago, we would have these homophobic press releases from the media. Now they are covering us in a positive way. Of course, we have lots to do for the future. But to see this, how also media change, how society change. We will also um, actually exhibit the billboards. We had a billboard campaign last year where we were just saying I am gay and I am lesbian all around the cities in the northern part and they vandalized these billboards. Mm. So they sprayed and they torn it apart and then we will also publish these things okay. to show that homophobia still exists in society. And where is the exhibition going to be? Exhibition is going to be in Emma Art Center. Um, it will be uh, at uh, 7 o'clock in the evening. But for the ones who can't make it on Monday, um, it will be open until 11th of March. Every day from 4 o'clock till 7 o'clock, it will be available. And I will be there uh, ready to also answer questions or also like talk about the history of our association as well. So everybody is invited to come and visit us. Okay. That's all my questions. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you for inviting us.